And joining me on TVC News this hour is our correspondent in the Niger Delta region, Ovie Teme George, and he's in Yenogwa. And then also in Abuja is another correspondent, Tijesu Adeoye, who covered an event held by Ijon natives to also mark the day and use the opportunity to call for the environmental degradation of the Niger Delta to be addressed. Let me start with you, Ovietemi. Now, Ijon natives and Niger Delta uh, citizens in general are saying that they want to adopt intellectual approach into clamoring for what they want. But in recent times, we've seen more protests. Tell me how they plan to go about it this time around. Well, what I saw today was quite impressive. A people's determination, a people's resolve not to take to arms anymore. As exemplified by Yes. All right, let's go to Tijesu Adioye while we try to establish uh, Ovietemi's audio. Tijesu, you covered an event marking the Isaac Boro Day as well in Abuja. What were the high points of the demands? Well, it was a very interesting and um, intriguing um, celebration here in Abuja as um, the natives, the Ijo natives, gathered at the Jabi Lake park to celebrate one of their fallen heroes isaac adaka boro who um, fought against uh, the exploitation of oil in the niger delta region he believed the federal government at the time and uh, eastern uh, east the people of the eastern region were the sole benefactors of um, proceeds from the oil wealth in the niger delta region and he felt that this um, was unfair to the niger delta people he believed that the niger delta people were supposed to be the ones who largely benefited from um, the oil wealth in the niger delta region so he fought actively for this cause and this is why they celebrate the Boro Day today and this day is very significant to them because it symbolizes um, the struggle for justice, it symbolizes the struggle for equality, it also symbolizes the um, struggle for fairness. Of course you know um, um, the issue of um, exploitation and exploration remains a prominent issue in the Niger Delta uh, uh, region. Um, there are several calls for the cleanup in the region. The President, President Muhammad Buhari has already promised to, to clean up the area. He has set up a committee to clean up the area. But for some reason, this is yet to, you know, kickstart. So this, they say, this celebration today, they, they say they want it to serve as a wake-up call to the president to, to fulfill his promise to the Niger Delta people and also to develop, for more development to be brought to the Niger Delta region. All right, Tijesu, I'll come to you in a bit. Let me go back to Ovietime George now, correspondent in Bielsa State uh, capital, Yenogwa. Ovietime, I asked you earlier about how they plan to go about use, adopting the intellectual approach in clamoring uh, for the uh, plight of the Niger Delta region to be addressed. Uh, talk to me about the strategy. Well, the Jasper Isaac Adakaburu, uh, a blessed memory, took up arms. Uh, no. But much later, towards the end of the war, his wife told me, Dea Boro, that he regretted the action and he said he didn't achieve much. Boro was educated up to the university level. So now the youth of the Niger Delta are looking at him towards the end of his life, before he left, before he died. He advocated for the intellectual approach to dealing with issues. So now, sometimes the youth take to the streets or to the east-west road to protest. Nobody's molested. They don't take up arms anymore. They have resolved a people determined to change the narrative that they don't want to be seen as militants anymore, but rather invest in education that the generation that is coming will continue the struggle. Intellectual approach they meant, but it means simply and squarely that there would not be unrest in the United Delta because the region was not for that in the past. But this time around, they are advocating education of the youth, investment in education from the primary to the secondary to the tertiary institution, that the ones that are coming up should be far better than they are. Now, Boroism is a movement from, from, from uh, Kayama in Bayelsa State to uh, Port Harcourt River State to on those states, as far as London, where Boro is being celebrated today, the, the message is quite clear. 
We need to engage the federal government, come to the negotiation table, and resolve the crisis immediately without taking up arms. And that was actually what they meant by adopting the intellectual approach without shooting any gun. All right, I'll come back to you, uh, Obietemi. Let me go back to uh, Tijesu who is in Abuja. Tijesu, was the, the same position uh, Ijo natives uh, held, uh, talking about adopting uh, intellectual approach in solving the problem? Well, what the, they wanted, their general consensus was that they wanted a wake-up call. Um, they wanted to serve a wake-up call to the president to address, um, um, you know, issues that is confronting the Niger Delta people. They feel that they are still being marginalized as a people, being that uh, uh, they generate um, um, most of the uh, country's um, revenue, revenue. So they believe that they are being marginalized and they are not being given much attention as they should. So they want the president to, to, to. Um, they want the president to, um, to address some of the issues confronting them and also fulfill his promises he made to the Niger Delta people. All right, uh, Obiateme, back to you now. What are the demands the Niger Delta uh, natives are making? We know about uh, them saying that IOC should come back. Well, um, the Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaki, what's what the Niger Delta uh, just less than two years ago, he made a promise, I could remember quite vividly, at Kurutie and uh, Okuruza in the Baramaki Kingdom of Delta State. He moved down to Bayelsa, the same message, all the way to Uyo in Home State. He spoke to them. He made a call that the people who suffer years of environmental degradation, the IOCs, the international oil companies, should be closer to the source of production not to have their offices in far flung areas like uh, Lagos and Abuja, while the people who are sitting close to the um, pipe installations, any little problem, could it be sabotage or could it be equipment failure on the part of the multinationals, the people suffer. Now, if the IOCs come down to their states of operation, there will be job creation and there will be less of unrest or what we used to call militancy in the past. There will be an improvement. Now, going back now to 1956, June to be precise, oil was discovered in commercial quantity in Otabami. Now, it is called Oil Well 1. It represents all the oil wells, which is referred to as the Oloibri oil field. Go there. You will find anything that indicates that this community wants oiled the wheels of the Nigerian economy since 1956. At best, you see a monument here, more okay. like a stone that was laid by a former uh, president, Lucia Gorbassojo, or an oil and gas research institute. But nothing is happening. So the agitation and the clamor, All right, they tell me. want resource control. They want to control their resources and then pay something to the center, that is the federal government, which they believe they will be able to bring about development in the United Delta. Okay, okay they, tell me, I just have to cut you there because of time. I know you have a lot to say, and I know, I know uh, many Nigerians know that the United Delta people have a lot of demands. And this is just coming just yesterday when the federal government announced that uh, uh, the Ogoni Cleanup Project will be handed over to the contractors next Wednesday. Ovietemi George, a TVC News correspondent in Bayelsa State, and Tijesu Adioye, a correspondent in Abuja, there talking to us about how Ijon natives in general marked the Isaac Borodei.